Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know where you are in the world, but hello. Welcome to my very first YouTube video. Um, my name is Lena. I'm 24. I do work for an airline, and that airline is Emirates, as you can tell by my uniform. Um, I am going to be doing a what's in my handbag today, um, right here in this baby. Um, it's quite full because I haven't cleaned it out in a long time. So I'm going to be showing you what's in there and what I take on with me on my travels. So um, like I said, this is my very first YouTube video. I have tried to get the best lighting I can. The window is right here, so natural light. <laughs> Hopefully it's good enough. I'm sitting on the floor because this is the best position I could be in. Um, anywhere else in the house it's quite dark, so I'm sitting on the floor, so bear with me. Um, and if you do like this video, please subscribe wherever the button is or comment down below. I'm going to link everything in the description box that you need to know about me. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, it will be in the description box. And yeah, if you have any comments and any feedback, it would be much appreciated. Um, and if you want to see more videos from me, then please let me know. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So here is my lovely red bag that I take with me everywhere. My life is in here. <laughs> As for 20,000 other cabin crew that are in Emirates, their life is in this bag, I swear. So. Um, there, basically when you open the bag, I have all these stickers inside just so I can identify which is my bag. Um, cause like I said, there are 20,000 cabin crew and 90% are girls. So we all have the same handbag. So it's kind of hard to identify which one is yours. So yeah, I put stickers on mine so I know it's mine. So yeah. Um, this is what you see when you open the bag. It is messy, but I will go through bit by bit of what I have inside. Because um, I just I just love being nosy. I love to know what other girls carry in their bags so they can give me ideas, I can give them ideas. You know, you're just never going to know. In your day-to-day -day life, you never know what you're going to need in your handbag. And women always carry everything. They have a pharmacy in their bag. They have food in their bag for their baby if they're a mother they, they just have everything like women just need a handbag but sometimes I do wish I was a man you know just carrying your wallet don't need to worry about anything and that's it you're good to go anyway without further ado <laughs> let's uh, let's get into this video because I'm gonna try and make this as short simple and sweet as possible I will try and keep it under 15 minutes because I do not want people to get bored. <laughs> um, but yes, I hope you'll be as nosy as I am when I watch other girls' um, videos of what's in their handbag. Um, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy. But like I said, I will try and keep it as short as possible. So let's get into it. Um, okay, so in the first car compartment, um, I'm gonna do the back one because this is the fullest one right here. So I have mints inside. My first thing, I have mints and I'm going to have one right now. Mm. I did brush my teeth just to let you know. <laughs> um, okay. I have three hair ties. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot more of those because I do tend to take out my hair when I come off a flight um, and just lob them in my bag. So there might be a lot more than that in there. We will find out. <laughs> Um, I do have my power bank right here. Um, this is a lifesaver. Honestly, if anyone has a power bank, please carry it with you, especially the crew, because you never know where you're going to end up at. Like I had an incident where one of the aircraft actually had a, um, a technical issue. And luckily I had this with me because we had to stay in that country for uh, 12 hours. Um, and this saved my life. If I didn't have this, my phone would have died, I wouldn't have been able to talk to anybody, you know, lifesaver. So definitely take a power bank wherever you go. Uh, um, I have coffee in here for a long flight that I obviously didn't do. <laughs> Tissues, never know when you're going to need them, someone needs to blow their nose, pick their nose, whatever, I don't know. I have another sachet of coffee. 
except this one's my favorite one if anybody likes this like please let me know this is a good 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 coffee like there's chocolate inside so you can't go wrong right um i do have a us adapter and i do have a europe adapter because that's where i mostly fly I did um, three US flights this month. I had Dallas, I had Toronto, and I had Athens, and then going on to New Jersey. So you definitely need US adapters with you at all times. You never know. So, um, so this is what lipstick I'm wearing at the moment for anyone that wants to know. Um, this is the Rimmel London Lip Liner, and then I have the MAC. Um, D for danger is the color it's a gorgeous color but I do tend to change them a lot of the time I change my lipsticks all the time so it really just depends but I will link them down in the description box if you want to go and buy yourself a red lipstick to go out on your date or whatever um, okay so now okay I have two cotton buds I don't know why weird Okay, I got these in the US as well. I don't I think you can get them anywhere now. Like I don't think they're only in the US, but I did get the wrong um flavor. Um I got the wintergreen flavor and I just wanted the plain mint flavor and it tastes like licorice. It is kind of gross, but it does make your breath smell nice, so I'm not complaining. Um But yeah, guys, please let me know which um flavor you like best because this is definitely not one of my favorites but you know like I said it's good for your breath it's it works not complaining okay that's the first compartment done so now we will go into the front compartment which is right here is where I normally carry all of my documents and stuff like that but I some strange reason I seem to have a spoon in there never know when you're gonna need a spoon and it's disgustingly dirty <laughs> so I don't know where that's been um, I have my little portable mirror and it's a brush as well super cute and it's got a ladybug on the back I love ladybugs they're so cute um, I have my headphones and a bobby pin sorry about that um, these are again life um, anyone who loves listening to music will have headphones with them I do love listening to music I need to get in the zone before I have a flight, I need to listen to my favorite songs, just like have a good jam, you know, and get into it because like some flights are very long and not listening to music for a long amount of time, it does kind of dampen my mood because music makes me happy. So yeah, I need to listen to as much music as I can before my flight. So these always come with me everywhere. They have been all over the world with me. <laughs> Um, okay, now I have a hairbrush. You never know when you're gonna need this. It's a comb and a brush in one. I don't know where I got this from. I can't remember. I think it was from a friend. No, not from a friend. I can't even remember where I got this from, but it's handy. And I'm pretty sure they sell them in the drugstores and stuff like that. So you can find one pretty easily. Um, I do have my Nivea wipes. You never know when you're gonna want to take up this red lipstick. You're makeup in general just anything like that if your hands are dirty these again are very very handy in my handbag okay now i have a little sewing kit and i don't know where the needle is so i might prick myself inside <laughs> another sewing kit never know when you're gonna need it because the buttons on those waistcoats and your jackets and everything they just come off so easily so i've had to pretty much re-sew all of my uniform and it's really annoying <laughs> really annoying okay this is my little flight book um, this is where I keep all the information about every single flight that I do so it carries um, I think it 52 flights it will hold in here and I'm pretty much all the way through so far um, this is where your baggage uh, your baggage tag goes that you get from your suitcase every time you go for um, a layover um, so yeah and my last flight was actually Athens Newark so yeah it was a pretty good flight I had amazing crew and I couldn't have asked for a better sector to be honest 
but yeah I will link in the description box where you can get these from if you are airline crew because they do come in handy and it's like a little diary so you can just go back to that flight and remember like oh yeah I remember that crew or you know I remember that I had this passenger or you know just everything is in here it's it's really it's really handy to have I do get a lot of compliments on it <laughs> Okay, so in here is where you carry all of your documents for every single flight. We have seven in total. Um, one of them is the ID, which I am not wearing now. Um, and I do carry them in this little pouch so I do not lose them because that would be my worst nightmare. Um, so you have like two cards for your um, general safety training that we do. We call it SEP. Um, you have your vaccination cards and you have this other one I don't know what it's called but anyway your aviation medical certificate that is what it's called <laughs> and of course your passport how can you go anywhere without your passport so that's basically everything that's in there um, and then like I said because I normally tend to take my hair out after every flight I have like a hundred thousand bobby pins in here right now which I will show you see how many there is there so many so yeah that's a lot of bobby pins okay now um okay this video is already 11 minutes long i said i will keep it under 15 so <laughs> let's speed it up a little bit um in the middle section i do have all my pens because um most of the time the crew are asking me the passengers are asking me so i always carry at least 20 pens and i do collect them from the hotel so it doesn't matter if i just give them away but we could sell the amount of pens that we take from the hotels. It's insane. We could literally sell them and make a business out of it. Literally. Um, so yeah, that is in that section. And then in the middle section where the zip part is, is all my money and my currency. So I have currency from um, Dubai, dirhams. I have dollars. I have euros. I have this little Oyster card which is from the UK when you want to use the bus or the train or whatever. Very, very handy. Um, okay, I also have my medicine in here. This is the cold and flu sachet that you put in hot water just in case any of the crew gets sick or I get sick. They normally drink this and they feel 10 times better after that, so it's good to know. You know, I'm a pharmacist. I know what to do. <laughs> Um, and then I have my little purse. This is from Victoria's Secret, if anybody wants to know where it's from. Okay, and last but not least, we have my pharmacy in this little plastic bag right here. Now, the reason being behind the plastic bag is that normally when we go to the UK, um, they normally tend to ask us to put all of our gels, our aerosols, our um, liquids in a um, plastic bag. Um, everything has to be under 100 ml um, just for safety reasons I don't know if they've changed it now I think I've read it somewhere that they they don't really require the plastic bag anymore but still I put them in here just in case so we have in here red nail varnish my antiseptic cream my cuticle pen which is very very handy girls if you don't have one of these go purchase yourself one because your cuticles feel amazing afterwards. Um, I have my eye drops because on the flight, especially on long flights, which are over 16 hours, your eyes get very, very irritated and dry. So it's nice to just um, put some moisture back inside, you know. I have toothpaste. I have ibuprofen for any headaches or whatever. I have my nasal spray which I never ever use. I probably use it once just because I had a nosebleed and that was it. <laughs> um, I have strepsils for a sore throat. I have more ibuprofen. Um, I do have plenty of my hand sanitizers and my favorite one is Black Cherry. It's from Bath and Body Works. Go and buy yourself this thing. It smells so good. I swear it smells like perfume. You can smell it from a mile away. Because um, the crew are always saying, oh my god, what are you wearing? Like, it smells so nice. And I'm like, oh, it's just my hand sanitizer, you know? So it's from Bath and Body Works. Go and purchase yourself um, one. I have my hand cream because your hands do get very dry as well on board. 
Um, this is also from Bath and Body Works and it's Villanilla Buttercream um, flavor. It's very nice. And then this I got from Australia. Now, this is very good for any bites, splinters, scars, wounds, anything like that. Um, it's called the Lucas Pop and Pop Paw Ointment. And I actually had a scar here. You can still kind of see it. But I've been putting this thing on for a good maybe two weeks now. And it's going away. Like, it's amazing. Can't go wrong, you know? And then I have my little lip balm. Because you never know when you're going to need that. I think this is grapefruit flavor. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it is. Again, from the US. I think you can buy them in the in Europe as well. So yeah, that is all out of my um, pharmacy bag. So basically everything is now empty. Everything is empty. There's nothing left. So yeah, I... It is 16 minutes now, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do hope maybe I gave you some tips on what to put in your bag. Um, as I said, if you did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, push on those, push the notification button, whatever. I will try and upload another video, maybe a Q&A on everything about Emirates if anyone is wanting to join. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon.